I became uh, a, a millionaire by my law practice being very successful. We happened to be in an interesting uh, niche market that uh, just prospered incredibly in the 90s and now again uh, in the mid, you know, this year, actually, last couple of years. My dream was I wanted to have my first million in the bank by the time I was 32. I was fortunate enough to make it. I risked everything, basically, and started a small firm in Newport Center, and it just continued to expand from there. Well, we'll just have to wait till the documents come across, take a look, figure out what to do. And, yeah. you know. Our specialty is we specialize in foreclosure, bankruptcy. When the economy does poorly, we do very, very well. When are you going to spend more time here? As soon as business calms down and they stop foreclosing on every house in Southern California. Well, we may never see you again. <laughs> yeah. Business is just incredibly good right now. I would consider my personality anxiety-ridden, very driven, very, you know, intense. On the spectrum of uh, personalities, I'm probably an A+. My son Cole is 22 years old. Uh, he is much more sort of the uh, artistic type. Uh, from the uh, educational standpoint. I used to really worry about, you know, how am I going to accomplish what my father has, but it's not like that anymore. I feel very blessed that I have an incredibly tight relationship with my son, but uh, he was spoiled rotten. There wasn't much he ever asked for that he didn't get, from computers to automobiles. I actually uh, leased a castle in Ireland for his 15th birthday with a bunch of friends we flew over. The one thing that bothers me about my dad, he can be very, very driven. We're different people. It's about what I want to accomplish not what I'm expected to. I'm glad that Cole is participating with me. I think it's gonna be enlightening for him to see that not everyone has had the blessings that he's had. Imperial Beach for the week. Imperial Beach. That's down by the border, isn't it? Okay. Well, it's a beach. <laughs> Danger, contaminated water, avoid water contact from this point south of the international border. to live with only 150 bucks in your pocket, I know it's gonna be difficult. Finally, we found a place that looked like something that we could afford. Are you the manager? No. That was weird. All right, we need something. Can you help us out? 
I'll just go show you what I got. Okay. okay. We're going to tight for a buck. And get your rent every day. So as long as you can pay rent that day, you can stay that day. Come on in. So this is it. Uh-huh. It's not the Taj Mahal, but what I need from you is the first day's rent, $57. I got 56 bucks. You got two, you got anything on you at all? You got two bucks. I got a dollar. Hey. Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your stay. Take care. Welcome home. Thanks. Bye-bye. Don't touch it. It looks too dangerous. The wiring just completely screwed up. <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. I can't even believe this is like legal. Oh, here's a couple of silver fish in the yeah. silver fish in here. What was that? Cockroaches, termites. The floor was absolutely filthy. It's virtually impossible to compare this to how I'm used to living. It's just. I don't even want to walk on the floor here without socks on. God, that's just disgusting. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a job. I've never built anything in my life. <sighs> we were physically and mentally just drained. Would you stop that? <laughs> This is a nightmare. This morning, I woke up at 6.28. We're ready to go. But uh, per usual call, you know, he didn't set any alarm or anything, so I, you know, had to kind of get him moving and get going. But he got up, got it together, and uh, he's he's ready to roll. But we got to figure out how to come up with money. Well, we're gonna have to get a job. Yeah, we got just enough to pay rent today, so we're uh, it's do or die time. Before anything else, we're gonna have to talk to people, meet people around here, maybe find a job. We'll check in here. On the bulletin board, there's a piece of paper that said help wanted for construction jobs with the phone number. I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but if we don't have a job, we don't have a place to live. So it better go well. Greg and Cole. We're going to get right to work. OK. Daylight's burning. All right, let me show you guys how I do. What we usually do is. Perfect. Well, you really should be wearing a mask. That's on, right? Yeah. Why don't you guys take five? I brought some cold water. So I heard you guys are from South Bay. Yeah, we're down in Imperial Beach. You know, I live in Imperial Beach. Mm. You guys find a place to stay yet? Yeah, without You're a job keep today, us, we're right? on our, sleeping on the beach tomorrow night. Well, you know what? Um, when I started with this company, I was homeless. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I still haven't got uh, everything just the way I would like it, but it's headed in that direction. I got real blessed. I had a few people give me a hand. Now, the right thing to do is give other people a hand. So why don't you guys come by for uh, breakfast tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much. Linda believed we really were down and out. She asked us over for breakfast at her house tomorrow. And I didn't realize there were people out there in the world so generous. All right. All thank right. you. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, take care. Bye. Thanks. 
For more information about how you can help organizations who aid those in need, please visit www.fox.com slash secretmillionaire.